I love beef short ribs, and I've got a sweet and savory recipe that'll make you love them too. This beef short rib recipe is inspired by a traditional Korean style braised short rib, but we're gonna make it easy by using the Instant Pot. You'll need some common ingredients you find at the grocery store, an Instant Pot, a blender, and some beef short ribs. The first thing I'm gonna do is get the Instant Pot preheated so I can sear off these short ribs. Now we can get into the short ribs themselves. So I've got these beautifully marbled certified Angus beef short ribs. They've got great flavor and they're extremely rich. So you'll commonly see these prepackaged or maybe in the butcher's counter. They'll be called chuck short ribs and even sometimes English style. The Instant Pot's hot, so now I'm gonna add a little bit of oil and get these searing. I always start with the fat side down that helps to render out a little bit of this fat that you've got on the top of the short ribs. Because I don't want to overcrowd the Instant Pot, I'm gonna work in batches. Right now I can only fit three and that's okay because it's all about getting that good sear on them. I don't want them to boil and kind of start to steam. I want to get a good hard sear and if I can't do it all at once, then I'll just wait and do it in batches. I've developed a really nice sear on all of these short ribs. So I'm gonna remove them from the Instant Pot and I'm gonna work on my braising liquid. I'm gonna go into the blender with all my braising ingredients. I've got a boss pear, but any pear will do. If you really can find an Asian pear, that'd be great, but not all grocery stores have them, so I think any pear would be fine. I've got some apples, the whites of green onions, some ginger, which I reserve some of for later, and then some minced garlic. After that, I'm gonna go in with sesame oil, soy sauce, and some apple juice. Now I've reserved the greens of the green onions and a little bit of ginger for finishing the dish. So I'll blend this all together, start on a lower speed, and then I'll crank it to high to really get everything going. Now I've got my braising liquid all ready. I'm gonna go directly into the Instant Pot with this. I'll return my short ribs into here. I'll affix the lid. Make sure that it's on sealing and not venting. Set it to pressure cook and I want it high and I'll increase the time to 50 minutes. Now I'll just let this go, and then once it's done pressure cooking, I wanna let it naturally depressurize because that gives the meat a little bit of time to relax after it's been under pressure for 50 minutes. The short ribs have fully cooked and had time to naturally depressurize. I'm gonna vent what little pressure might be left. There we go. So I will remove these from this liquid and then I'll set this to saute because I want to reduce this braising liquid. That'll concentrate that flavor, make it a little more syrupy and really intense. It'll be a great sauce to put on these short ribs. Before doing that, I'm gonna add some ginger to really reinforce that Asian flair that this braise has. Set it to saute, make sure it's on high and I only need seven minutes. It's fairly hot as it is, so it should come up to a simmer fairly quickly and then reduce for a little bit. Then we'll strain the braising liquid and pour it over the short ribs. You can skim the fat and strain the liquid by hand, or if you have a handy fat separator, which is what I'm gonna use now, it really saves a little time and a little bit of mess. The fat separator will keep out any solids. And then as it settles, all the fat will rise to the top and your reduction will settle to the bottom. And the spout pours from the bottom here so you get a fairly fat-free reduction of the sauce. Put this reduced sauce, kind of give it a little glaze on these short ribs. And now I'll garnish with the scallion greens that I reserved from earlier. Greens are a little more delicate, but have great flavor, so I like to use them as a garnish at the end rather than to cook with. And there you have it. 
It's an Instant Pot Korean style short rib that packs a lot of flavor without investing a ton of time. For this recipe and other Instant Pot recipes, check out CertifiedAngusBeef.com.